we've got the Solana phone. More specifically, I've got the Solana phone, the new Saga device, an Android device from Solana Mobile. This is supposed to be the way to put cryptocurrency in people's pockets, uh, a roadmap to mass adoption, a way to make crypto easier to use on the go. All these things are really important to the future of cryptocurrency and uh, important to the future of Solana, given that it's created a cell phone to let you do it. So uh, I thought that the, a great way just to bring us all in here was to do something that I've only just done once before, actually in preparation on this show, um, I'm going to try to mint an NFT using this thing live on air. So we're oh going to see what happens. So okay. first off, just let me, let me walk you through it. All right. So here's my device. It's got it's got a little uh, Solana uh, engraving there. Right? There mm-hmm. it is. Yep. Uh, but it, once you once you open it up, you set it up and you download. You create a wallet. There's some airdropped uh, funds for easy use. Uh, download all these different uh, applications from the DApp Store, uh, and one of them is called Minty Fresh, which is a way that you can uh, take a photo and make an NFT really easily. So I've opened the app. It looks like a little mint leaf, and I'm gonna just take a photo of us right now. On stay uh, on on the air in our in our back room. All right. So the <laughs> NFT title will be the hash. The hash. I'll just say description. I don't know. Okay. So <laughs> now here's here's the here's what we've got so far. This is what it looks like behind the scenes, everyone. Um, Mint. All right. Now it opens up my Phantom wallet. Asks me to authenticate it. I'm approving the transaction. I have to confirm with a fingerprint now for a second time. Now I have to confirm use of fingerprint. All right, now uploading file, adding details. Okay, now let's see. This is now the fourth time I have to authenticate with my fingerprint. Now I'm approving it. Okay, I'm going to, okay. I've approved, I've, now fifth time of fingerprint. Now second time of approving <laughs> fingerprint use. Waiting for confirmations. <laughs> You've minted an NFT. Okay, so here we are. I've now minted an NFT, but the experience wasn't exactly seamless, right? So it it asked me to confirm my fingerprint use six different times. Um, and the reason why it was doing that was confirming that it, it had the permission to use the seed phrase that is stored in the secure element of the phone, which is really what mm-hmm. makes the Solana phone different from other phones. It keeps It acts as an actual hardware wallet because it keeps the... Um, the private keys on the device in the secure element where other credentialed information is on other cell phones. Um, But to access it, it has to repeatedly ask you. So it's not exactly a seamless experience. I had to very repeatedly do it over and over again. And the first time I tried it, I actually failed. But let's see if it actually resulted in an NFT. So I'm opening up my Phantom wallet now. All right, I'm authenticating with my fingerprint once again. And... I don't know if I got my NFT. Katie, I have a oh, question. No. <laughs> there, well, actually, I think it's there. Yep, it looks like it's there. Yeah, it looks there, like it's there. There it is. Yeah, the I, there you thing. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but I Danny, actually didn't get to my phone. It, I, I a different one called Tesser, which was a misspelling of test, got to my cell phone. Uh, so <laughs> it's a work in progress. Okay, like the user experience is not great. Uh, it's a little clunky, but. It has big potential. I don't know if I wanted to take a make a NFT on the go. Well, I I just did it, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, and you did it pretty quickly, despite the kind of janky user experience. I'm impressed that you were able to take a photo of us and make it an NFT in just like 2.5 minutes. But Adam, I think you have a question for Danny. I think we are out of time, though, so we will have to no, get to that. No, we, another... we got an extension to talk oh. about this. Oh, well, great. We well, then I, I am curious. <laughs> Adam's like, I'm over this phone. Get me off the air. Danny, like... no, I'm curious. Like, I, So I get the secure hardware element, although I have more questions about that than I think we have time for here. But just broadly okay. speaking, do you think that the form factor, like, do you think that, like, is it about just having that secure form factor in a phone? Is it about the app store where you can download dApps? I mean, like, what's the reason why you think it's really valuable to the extent that you think that, uh, you know, to have this in a, fo- in a phone form factor rather than something else? Well, here, think of it this way. Let's, let's, let's divorce it from Solana and all that. If we want crypto to be big, 
if, if, if one wants crypto to be big, then it, it has to be accessible. And for it to be accessible, then it needs to be accessible in the way that everyone can access it. That doesn't mean that everyone walks around with a ledger. It means that they have the crypto on the computer that they already have in their pocket. So the idea of utilizing the cell phone's architecture to actually act as a storage facility for private keys is you know, that's trending in the direction that crypto is going to have to go. This is the first iteration out of Solana that attempts to do that. And uh, it's clear to me that it's not like the experience of accessing those keys is not yet ironed out. Like it takes a while to get this right. Um, but it's an attempt. And, you know, I have this weird look at NFT now that cost me like 50 cents to make of you of you beautiful people on air so let's see if i can get i can't blow it up for for everyone to see but here it is once again and i will say uh oh there we go i will say <laughs> if you want to hear my thoughts in, more in depth on the solana phone and all things you should definitely check out carpe consensus my podcast where i love to go on rants much more colorful than this one all right danny this is a yes or no question is it worth a thousand dollars um, uh, I am an iPhone user, and this is an Android device, and therefore, by default, no, it is not. All right, uh, but that's simply okay. because I am an iPhone user. <laughs> All right. Well, I look forward to seeing the phone at Consensus. You can check out the hash at Consensus. We have our very own stage, so come check us out.